Noobcast. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Noobcast. This is Blomus bringing you a 1v1 on Abyssal Caverns. It's OG Suda! Woo! His opponent wearing the red Zerg pieces. I think he's like, he's trying to create an onomatopoeia. If you're unfamiliar with the term onomatopoeia, it's a word that sounds like the thing the word is trying to describe, like splat is onomatopoeia. Um... Boing is onomatopoeia. Pop is onomatopoeia. I, unless I'm totally be getting that wrong. But I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So Bubble is trying to make his word s more onomatopoeia-ish than it currently is. Because Bubble... Wait, there's already two Bs in Bubble. Never mind. But there's two U's. And there isn't usually two U's. So, blue, 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 blue. Oh. I don't know. Let's try to be clever. It's too early. I mean, too late. I mean, I'm too tired. I mean, whatever, man! Who freaking cares? It's freaking OG Suda! Playing Protoss. I have a surprise that I got in my mailbox this week. Oh, not even in sending it to my replay. Not even sending it through my replay filtration system. As this yoinkster, how many? What? No, he did. Did he? What was that? I don't know. It was like a. It was a not many pool. It was a low number pool. But it's all right because this. Oh. This cannon will be finished very near the time. Oh my goodness! Oh my God! Nice wall up. Gets the gateway, cannon finishes, Zerglings must die. Oh yeah, and he cancels and then puts it up again. Usually you cancel and then put up your cyber, but this gateway's not finished, so he can't put up cyber yet. Can't put up no cyber code, can't no cyber code, can't put up your cyber code, can't no cyber code. And bubble drowning up. Got a probe over here in the natural. Saying, "What's up, baby? I'm about to drop a pilot on your face, maybe, maybe, baby." And he did finally cancel that second gateway for the cyber core. Forge fast, expand, nearly complete. Waiting for that nexus to go down, and there it goes. There she blows, and there is the pylon. Is there gonna be some cannonage? Will there be some cannonage? Cannonage? Wait for the. There's the money. The money is there. What is gonna happen? And there's the cannon. And there's a second cannon. Oh. Well, of course you can see it, derp. Is that a pylon? Pylon, pylon, pylon. Pylon, pylon, pylon. <laughs> but now you can't get at the cannon. Derpy, derpy, derpy. Did you think I can't see that? Did you think I can't kill you with this cannon? Yep. That's right, Derpy McGee. Oh, look at that! Gonna do it again! It's gonna do it again! Oh, canceled it. That's that's interesting. So, Bubble, getting the third. Oh, no, it gets the pro! God, he kills it. Oh, pro! Drones, instead of going over here. 
gonna go. He's still looking like he wants to use this base. He's putting up a spine. I guess the sp I don't, do spines outrange cannons? I think they do. But Zerg's got three bases up. Protoss happily mining away at his recently saturated expansion. OG Suna Wrecking Shop. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm debating whether or not to tell you about the uh, surprise I have. Has to do with OG Suna. Uh, I just wanted to look at that overlord. Because they're like big fat festering blobs of ooze. And I wanted to look at one close up. Still doing just fine. Uh, not focusing on the. Uh, Spines here with this cannon. He wants to get this, but he's not gonna. He is not gonna get that hatchery. And down it goes. And these spines will take care of the rest of the things. And now he will be able to saturate this natural. But he did slow down for a long time. Slow down the production on that natural so as we look at the income right now OG Suna well ahead of harvesters and uh, income so you know early game slowing down of the Zerg's economy we will mark that as a success Ooh. so yeah um, no I'm not gonna tell you I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait I'm not gonna tell you the surprise because then it wouldn't be a surprise anymore and I was gonna wait until I get to it but I'm probably gonna bump it up what is that Zelda doing it's like I hate my cyber uh, come on FPS making another cyber cow yeah kill that sucker Kill that sucker! Gonna knock down the cyber so we can get out. You know, you like to get out of your base every once in a while. Sometimes, you know, you just need to get out. Hey, he's got a handful of stalkers. Good. One zealot, one sentry. Yep. Just for, like, moral support. Cheer on the stalkers. You go, go, stalker, go, go, stalker, go. Go, stalker, go. Go, stalker, go. Trying to kill some more Obi Load. Is he going to get him? Yes, he is. He going to kill that Obi Load. Not a lot. Okay, now um, Bubble just now making a butt ton of Zerglings. And that is going to be enough to get around surround on these stalkers. Oh, yeah. Wow. The backup zealots coming in, though. Oh boy, I'm so boring. And looks like to do some damage. Kills a queen. More Zerglings being made. Plus 11 roaches. But these Zerglings, uh, again, getting surrounded on these Stalkers. Going to be able to do all kinds of damage. The Zealots are holding their own. But they are going to fall. A couple more Stalkers coming in to back things up. But they are going to get surrounded as well. If Oji Soon is not careful. And two Zealots is not going to be enough. Look at that, though. Six Gateway warping, warping in the Zealots. Doing the job. Cleaning things up. Going to go back into this natural. And... can't believe crap like that. I'm sorry. Computers sometimes. When computers do things without your permission... Like... That's a like capital offense. And, you know, you should be able to kill them. Like robots. You know. But roaches come out, and they're going to uh, deter any further aggression from OG Suna. Because... Oh my god, what the frack, you fracking McFrackersons? Who gave you the right to frickin' jump up in front of my... I know you guys didn't even see that, so you don't even know what I'm talking about. As far as you're concerned, I'm like this schizophrenic old guy who's like yelling at invisible bugs that you can't see. What? Well, I, I 
Hey, you kids, get off my lawn! But really, every like three seconds, an update is popping up on my screen on top of StarCraft, which A, rarely ever happens because StarCraft takes so much precedence that nothing, I've never had pop-ups. Any program, like, subvert StarCraft. Oji Suna, looking like he, well, he's not in trouble now anymore. He's got the defender's advantage here. If those Zerglings had come in a little bit sooner, maybe you'd be alright. Man, I can't stop looking yawning. It's really annoying. I don't know if it's as annoying to you as it is to me, but holy crap, man. I'm freaking annoyed. Still gotta have enough to hold this off. No problem. Blink just getting started now for Ojisuna. Morlings coming in, which, uh. They're just kind of streaming it at this point. But uh, OG Suna's micro is just too much for these units, um, and he is going to clean it up. Very nice job, OG Suna there, um, just getting microing just enough to keep the lings from killing him. Ooh, no! And there's a the run by into the natural. Lots of probes getting killed. And they're going to get up to the main as well. Holy crap. Oh no. What's going to happen? A ah! couple zealots going to get warped in. And um, I was surprised. I thought Ojisuna was going to stop command his probes and force the lings to um, to automatic, you know, to uh, right click each probe to kill him. But instead he got him out of there. And he's nearly mined out in the main too. So he, if he just wanted to make like two or three probes they could finish cleaning this up a little while. He did pull his entire army again so his third base is once again very exposed. If Bubble wanted to press the attack there again he could do that. Let's check out the Zerg's uh, tech here. We have the Hydra Den. He's getting the uh, range upgrade for them. No fourth base for the Zerg though he does have a ma macro hatch here in the main. He's on layer tech, um, so we are not seeing any infestation pit, no hive tech as of yet. Um, we're still early in the game, it's only 17 minutes in here, so we can see all of that. And shortly, he does have nobody in this gas extractor while uh, he's using it. And he is, uh, you were seeing the armies pass each other here. Bubble looks like he's breaking down the rocks to go after this gold base. And, but he saw this this incoming army. Uh, this not enough roaches to deal with this army. Uh, Guardian shield, very good against roaches. Give you that two plus army buff armor. Two plus army. Two plus armor buff. More stalkers and zells coming in. Huge gateway force by OG Suna. Uh, we are three bases to three bases. Um. The Zerg obviously should be able to outproduce the Protoss, but as you can see by the food here, Ojisuna is well ahead of Bubble, who uh, is just not spending minerals right now. And he's not mining from all his gases, as I pointed out just briefly ago. So he could have a more balanced uh, attack here. He's just getting another extractor here. Um, so this is just basically, it's just mistakes, overlooking, just kind of sloppy. Um, I wouldn't necessarily call it like super bad play, but uh, just kind of sloppy and um, just lacking awareness. And Ojisuna, because of those, and, but they're, I mean, obviously they're game changing mistakes and because of them, Ojisuna is going to be able to waltz through here, wipe out this third. Uh, very easily and is not only that but he's also going to be able to keep going he's going to be able to do a lot of damage he could kill this entire army in a second if he turned around and actually fought it um, but he's happy taking that taking out that third um, being content with getting ahead economically kind of starving out his opponent or of attrition style and now splitting up the army taking a group of stalkers down here and coming back over here, he want he wanted to engage that army on that ramp, but um, 
and so he could surround it, but uh, it didn't quite work out for him. And now he lost quite a few sentries there, uh, but it doesn't matter. He's got uh, his army is too big. And the Zerg is going to be on the run here now. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Even though he's going to be able to clean up this army, there is still the macro hatch. Um, you know, it looks as though Bubble is trying hard to keep up on Larva. Um, it's going to be hard for him to make very much right now. Zealot's stuck in the back. Um, Kind of a late to the party force fields. Spine's going to be able to do a lot of help here uh, while the Zerg is trying to defend. Oh, no more sentries, so you can't force field the ramp. And uh, because of that, as soon as like, all right, I guess I got to go. Can't. Um, Protoss. Protoss army needs force fields to be effective. And God forbid, I know a lot of people think complain about force fields being overpowered but god forbid blizzard does anything to nerf or take away force fields because the protoss army would be absolutely gutted and it would be all over they would never win a battle against sir they would never win a battle against proto against uh terran the only match that protoss could win would be pvp and even that would be messed up well force fields Man. I am so tired. Okay, so the f former, the fourth now was, well, it was the fourth, now it's the third. Well, it was the third, because now it's dead. Base is gone for Bubble. He's got to be feeling the pressure now. You know, he knows he's going to have to move in. going to have to do something uh, offensively to try and get some sense of uh, damage done to Ojisuna because Bubble, since the uh, that first run by back then, uh, back in the Yay, uh, has done absolutely nothing in a while. So he's going to go in here looking for a base, not going to find it. Um, pretty good place to look, considering, you know, he's probably thinking, oh crap, my opponent's really good. He's probably got four or five bases by now. And in all fairness, Ojisuna should have that many bases. I do not like this engagement for Ojisuna, even though but he does have the Archons out front, Stalkers are able to fan a little bit plus the Colossus is dealing heavy damage so uh, if I had to guess, I would say, yeah, he's going to clean this up um, and uh, but just one Colossus it, without range, I don't think it's uh, that's the size of the army you want uh, to move out with. No, I do not. I don't think so at all. <sighs> I do not think so at all. Zealots running in. I love the way Zealots run. It's so awesome. Archons join in the fray. Hey guys, let's all meet by the watchtower, what do you say? We'll go and we'll plan. We'll make up like a strategy. How about you go to the left, and you go to the right, and Colossus, you go deep right. Alright, ready, break. Oh wait, how about we warp in some more zealots? Or oh, something. More archons, alright then. That'll be fine. Alrighty. Crika. What in the world's going on here? Fourth base for OG Suna. And I am like literally my eyes are like starting to get heavy. <laughs> Eyelids are starting to close. Yeah, it's time to wrap this baby up. We're getting there though. And here is what I hope is going to be the final engagement. One Colossus, no range, lots of Archons and a few Stalkers. Two one upgrades uh, for... OG Suno, only 1-1 one, one for a Zerg player. Archon over here, smacking around a queen. Have some respect, brother. Why are you smacking a queen for? Oh, she tried to take your sandwich? Oh, all right. Get her then, get her. What am I talking about? Totally had one of those, like, 
falling asleep and jerk yourself up moments. That happened just now. Queens fighting, roaches fighting, everything on the ramp fighting, naturals dead, archons killing everything, Bubba GG's, OG Suda wins, <sighs> and the crowd goes wild. <sighs> Cool. Um, let's see what happened here. Uh, OG Soon is awesome. That's what happened. Sometimes you eat the bear. Sometimes the bear eats you. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes a guy who plays just freaking awesome. That being said, keep climbing that ladder.